Hello! Welcome back to Bust End. A Dwarf Fortress Let's Play for Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. Nearly Enough Dice is a podcast and blog at www.nearlyenoughdice.com. Uh, let's unpause. Uh, what's going on here? Wait, look, we are... Let's unpause. There we go. Pause. Done. Unpause. Done. Finished. Complete. Yes, with some trolls. No troglodytes, these were. They're a pain in the everything. Uh, but they got themselves a bit um, killinated, so. It's all good. And I'm assuming they came through kind of this ish area. I'm not smelling. Something around here is causing me asthma. Okay. Mm, that's not good. Uh, yeah. So I set up a few cage traps to try and, especially down that corridor, to try and grab folk. But who knows, eh? Um, it would be nice to kind of. Hermetically seal things off, but I've got a lot of things to do uh, before that happens. Um, a lot of things to do. Alright, downstairs. I'm still not using that stockpile. That just confuses me. Uh, corkscrews getting made, so that's all good. And, uh, oh, is there more troglodytes? Basically, I'm looking for this stray war dog. I, I, I think, anyway. I think I, I thought I had a spare do uh, war dog, but uh, looks like I might be wrong, actually. Um, so the thought was to um, station war dog down here. Let's put these puppies down. Grow up to be dogs, they can uh, hopefully, uh, you know, murder things. Um, yeah, so now I think, oh, I think he's here, I think he was just killed now. Uh, that's kind of sad. Um, Right, so I can possibly start putting in some coffins. Um, I don't know whether or not you can build 
on top of an area and uh, and then have them um, engrave underneath it but I'm not taking the chance uh, so that the chocolate has been killed and I know that because everyone's gone back into being uh, a normal kind of person so that's cool Suddenly realised that um, I suspect that person is going to their own personal private dining room. Oh, that's, oh those have been placed. Sweet. Um, make it into a study. Assign. Captain of the Guard. Is it the Captain? No, I've forgotten who I'm, I've forgotten who I'm wanting this for. It is Captain of the Guard. Right, okay, so. Assign chair. Captain the Guard. Not when I want to build a door. And then I can make a dining room and assign it to the Captain of the Guard. Um, what's he right? So, then you made into prop offices. That's okay. No quarters. Why don't you have quarters? You should have quarters. I thought you had quarters. Fairly sure the captain of the guard had quarters, unless the captain of the guard has changed and I've done something stupid, which is not beyond the realm's possibility. Uh, Needs a chest, cabinet, armor, and weapon stand. Well, um, if I go down here and I grab. I could, I could chuck someone out, but that's probably not what I want to do. Oh, what I really need, what I, what I, I could really, oh, well, actually no, this is, here's the thing. Um, mm. <clears throat> uh, the question is, do, b b b b who's got extra quarters? Why is that red? That's a, oh, I know. Actually, no. I think that's red. Those are red because the 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 office is shared. I was, no, I was going to. I was going to do this very clever thing. I was going to, you know, find people who already have quarters. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Somebody, some, somebody somewhere has um, no auto allocate. So you can auto allocate it to a, to a particular individual. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. So uh, I have a slight issue, which is that I really need to give that person some. Um, Possibly chucking them out of whatever they've got at the minute. Because I made, a, I made, I mean, eventually everyone's going to have quarters down here, and it, it'll all be fine. But um, I'm not quite right. Oh, hell with it! Hell with it! Captain of the guard. I'm going to allocate that. It does mean I've chucked some other dwarf out, but I clearly don't care. Um, and what, what else? So, you haven't got a weapon whack, you haven't got an armor stand, and that's stuff that you're only going to get in your office, and that's fine. So, build rack. And 
No, it's not a stand. Weapon. No, but, but what did I just make? Arm stand. There we go. Now, well, now the noble screen, he should be right. So until he wants the, the quarters to be jazzed up, and that's fair enough. Um, possibly it's going to be jazzed up enough when... Uh, where am I? There we go. Possibly going to be jazzed up enough when the items get moved in, right? That might possibly be what'll do it. Um, it also might not. Um, you know, that's a thing I need to, to take into account. Uh, so possibly I just need to. I'll need to go and uh, smooth everything, and then. Engrave everything just to make those quarters nice enough for him. Nice enough for my captain of the guard. I did not. I was quite interested to discover. That. Right, actually, let's let's do this. Um, that's a DF hack thing where I can just say, so it's uh, uh, assigned to the auto. It's assigned to the mayor, and it'll always be assigned to the mayor. And this is always going to be the mayor's quarters. And that's a a very neat DF hack thing. Uh, means that especially mayors, because mayors get reelected. And it can actually be quite ag aggravating when they suddenly... Um, I suddenly have to move someone into an outer quarters. I should probably make some quarters for the captain of the guard. And... Uh, just let them... And again, auto allocate that. But I, I, I thought I was being clever, you see. By uh, not doing that. So there you go. Perhaps I was wrong. Wrong to try that. Okay, the first of the coffins are going in. I don't know how many dead folk I actually have. Um, right, how far down here am I? Not that far. So if I change the is... If I add coffins in... And then add coffins here as well. Suddenly, a very small number of idlers. It always makes me slightly worried. Um, <clears throat> by doing that, uh, I'll move the coffins hopefully down the stairs. And because I've got a lot of coffins, and I, I mean, I mean, I've got. I should have. An, I, I, I think I've. No, I haven't. I've, I've, I've left a couple of waves of migrants behind. Um, but I, I made a point of, uh, at one point I was, I was, I was making coffins, um, as they came in. Uh, so I've got a total of 63 coffins at the minute, of my population of 89, so I need to do another 26 coffins. So JMQ, rock, coffin, and I said 26, wasn't it? I'll chuck those in. Um, and I, yeah, it does sound a little bit uh, pessimistic, saying I must have a coffin available for absolutely every single dwarf. But when you think about it, every dwarf is probably eventually. Gonna, I mean, if, if you last long enough, eventually all these dwarfs are going to die. Um, you know, not necessarily. I mean, I'm, you know, in, in all likelihood, I'm not going to run this game long enough for them to all die of old age, but uh, it's a thing that theoretically could happen. So, you know, making sure everyone's got a coffin that's available to them. You know, it's a neat thing. Um, I'm also going to make this into a memorial hall um, as soon as... Uh, basically, as soon as I've got a coffin in... I'll st oh, well, as soon as I've got a, a coffin with a, with, a, with, a, with a recipient, shall we say, um, I'm going to start moving, yeah, the, so each, each coffin will have a slab associated with it, uh, assuming it does not already have a slab associated with it, because I've got my small memorial hall upstairs, which is in my, my meagre dining room, um, 
which I, you know, eventually going to move downstairs. That is a thing, actually. Now I think about it, I'm going to need. I'm going to want some food storage um, down here somewhere. That this level might not be a bad place to put food storage. It's only a couple levels down. I don't have much room, so I wouldn't be able to do that much with it. Um, I mean, this is. I mean. The reason why I don't want to do anything big on this level is it's, it's right, going to be right underneath all these bedrooms and everyone's going to be very cross with me uh, if I do that. Alright. Those coffins are coming in nicely. That's good. The engraving is also moving on at a pace, which is also nice. Uh, what I could particularly do with is getting some of those rocks moved. I mean, I've got very. I mean, I've got. I've got the uh, quantum stockpile, but there's only because there's only room for three. wheelbarrows in it, there's only, you know, there's only three, it only generates three hauling tasks at a time, so I'm, you know, it's going to take a little while to, to grab all of the rocks that are everywhere. Well, that looks like most of the coffins are going in, so that's good. And this is the other the other thing I like about um, having created all the coffins at once is that I can just plonk them all down and uh, get it over with and not have to worry too much. Um, you know, before you know, previous previous done uh, previous fortress, it was all make some coffins and not be sure if there are coffins available, and then put coffins down, and then not be sure if there are coffins available, and all that kind of thing. But in the end, this should be a sufficient graveyard for absolutely every single dwarf. Um, some dwarves uh, are not going to have coffins because uh, I'm very unlikely to ever be able to rescue uh, the dwarves down here who have died. Um, I mean, maybe if Operation Stupid Magma Plan ever gets off, ever gets done, um, but not that likely. I mean, even if Stupid Magma Plan gets done, um, I suspect what is actually going to happen is that I burn up those bodies with with lava, <laughs> and I think that's actually what, what will end up happening. Um, which, you know, that's life, as they say. Uh, so they'll probably never get a decent burial, sadly. Right, I've got up to 25 idlers, so I can only assume that most of the coffins... Well, most of the coffins obviously have been placed, so there's only a few kind of still on the way down. Uh, well, see, we've got lots of idlers. Let's open these up for burial. Right, there we go. And a uh, bit of a drop in the idle population there. Oh, we'll making some trousers. Still very unhappy. Pull, pull, pull Zuntir. Zuntir the sad miner. Well, not a lot I can do with Zuntir the sad miner. Um, downstairs, what have we got? What's going on down here? 
very little I may have run out of adamantine. <laughs> There's never enough adamantine to make me happy, it must be said. Um, so there are all my adamantine... I always fail the guess which menu user interface is the right one. I always, always fail that. Uh, what else was I going to do? I was setting up a dormitory and training area. So, let's place ourselves a weapon rack and an armor stand. Um, and when they get placed there, will this will be the the beginnings of the barracks. Um, let's build some beds. <laughs> and so there's going to be a training area, but I should really make sure everyone's got armor. Miller is taken by a Fey mood. Let's follow you, see where you go. Kind of hoping, now that given that this individual is right at the top of the map, I'm, not, I'm desperately hoping they're not wanting a metalsmith thing. Because that's going to be way down the bottom of the map. That looks like what's, that's what's going to happen. Right, in that case, they've, they've got, they know where they're going, so I don't need to follow them. I'll, I'll get informed when they uh, find a place and they, they decide what they want to do. Um, okay, everything's fine there, everything's fine there, butcher shop. Uh, let's have a look at my animals, see if there's anything that needs to be killed. Uh, let's see how many cats I've got. Not too many. It's always that thing. I mean, how many, how many of your, uh, how many of your beasties do you kill? Because you want to, you want to keep. Um, do you know? I'm very tempted just to keep the turkeys on the ground. So that if I, I type in turkey, I can see all of them. Whereas with gander, I've got a, you know. With goose, I've got to check for goose and gander. So there we go. So we're, we're, we're going to keep turkeys as... If we're going for any bird, it's going to be uh, turkeys. Uh, which means I can go for duck. And kill that. And drake. Kill that. And there's also the guinea things. Well, okay, well, there's one I can't kill because it's a pet. I'll kill the, uh, kill the other one. Uh, da, 
that should be um, you know I don't want to kill these named one these named one are pets um, and the others when they grow up they can be killed uh, sort of goat nanny goat tame uh, doing that again um, I mean, in theory, I could be, you know, raising goats for their wool, but I can't be bothered. So we're just we're just murdering everything right now. There's some burial going on, so that's good. And how is the graveyard coming along? Ooh, pretty close to being done, actually. Finish off that row. Um, hitting D, which shows me the designations, uh, I was seeing whether or not I can tell whether or not that's been engraved, but I cannot because there was a rock on top of it. It has. It so happens to have been engraved. So there you go. It's almost like they're specifically engraving underneath the stones. But it looks like some barrels have gone in. I think this is going to be a slightly tedious thing where I need to, I'm going to need to go through uh, the engraved menu and see who needs done. you want to remove that one. And then I want to put it in front of Erin. And the actual grave. Uh, I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> and things have been slaughtered, which is actually what I want to happen. So that's all good and lovely. Gone up one. There we go. So the engraving's nearly done here, which is good. I'm 
thinking that I might end up I might end up needing a separate memorial hall purely for those who have died. You went all the way down there for a grass dwarf's workshop when there was one upstairs. Daft Egypt. Well, it seems to have something in mind, so you're gonna be nicking um adamantium wafers. No. Right, so we have to remember to check back there from time to time. Uh, why did I want to come up here? I don't know why I wanted to come up here. Wow, that really murders my frame rate going up at the top. That's a bright green. Plump helmet spawn bag. Red is emerald with emerald dye. Oh, then I must have got that on that off. Uh, oh, that's a thing. That's a not checked in with that. I've not checked in with the uh, pile of stuff that got dropped for no good reason. Um, only I can't remember where it was. Oh, there it is. So there's still cloth bins. So the, my cunning plan for everyone to remove everything from the bins has failed dismally, so there's that. Uh, in theory, the... my quantum cloth bin inside um, Should have uh, grabbed everything, uh, but no. Uh, again, there's stuff with um, stockpiles that clearly I do not understand. All right, let's go back down here. Have a check what's going on. Either it's not been unbuilt, or um, someone's in the middle of moving it, moving the slab, so it's not currently showing up on my list of available things. Which is fair enough. Uh, what else was I going to check? What else was I going to check? Um, can, I was going to. I did want to have a check to see whether or not my stone stockpile actually did function the way I thought it was. So stone pop stockpile 16. So I've checked the job and I type in stockpile. So someone, yeah, there's, okay, stone stockpile 16. There are, there are people doing stuff with stone stockpile 16. Yeah, I suppose I should have realised that there would be, it'll be down here. Because uh, this is where I've generated an awful lot of rock. To very little avail. I mean, I've got a lot of gems, which, and I'm not doing anything with gems at the minute. Um, but I've, you know, I haven't discovered any interesting ores. So, slightly disappointing. But, meh. Yeah, I mean that's the whole thing about exploring is you don't you don't actually know what you're going to find until you do the exploring, and in this case it was kind of disappointing. Um, once now, are you all done? Looks like um, let's engrave this first. The fact that that came up immediately tends to give me the impression that they are, in fact, were all uh, done. So, make barracks. Probably don't want to do both of those. Um, Z.
All right. Okay. Mark's wolves will train here. This one is melee. We'll sleep here. Individual will train here. I'm just going to get. I don't know what uh, I and Q do, so I'm just going to leave them. That's what I'm going to do. Um. I. And the question is whether I want to completely make myself a fully functioning separate military right away. Um, I kind of do. This is eventually going to become the basis of um, this is going to be a big stockpile and workshop area. So there's going to be lots of quantum stockpiles in here, and there's going to be workshops around there. At least that is the plan. The plan is subject to change without notice, largely because I do stupid things and all goes wrong. Bloody troglodytes. Where's this one? Oh, I've got some cage ones. That's sweet. idea behind that is they'll be moved off the cage traps onto here, at which point I can do unpleasant things to them. Um, Right. 
I think if I close that door, if I close that door, nothing of value will be lost. I can always open that up later. Uh, what that'll do is it'll allow me to you know they'll they'll move the, the beaches over there and then new cages will be made and placed so it'll all be oh that was that one my um fey moon dwarf just turned up very briefly Saw the exclamation mark. Well, yeah, troglodytes. Uh, troglodytes are looking to be a bit of a problem. Um, and I may have to start thinking about how I'm going to block off these caverns. I think I know what I need to do. Um, if I floor, make floors up to Floor that over and uh, so I just block off those bits there, then they shouldn't be able to get through. But that's for later, so thanks so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit like and subscribe if so. Um, and we have a role-playing game podcast and blog at www.neelenoughdice.com, as I said at the uh, beginning of the program. And finally, I do hope you'll join me next time. And until then, please have yourselves a very dwarfy day.